I'm really proud to be here in New Jersey today. I'm collaborating with King and their attempt at the Guinness World Record for the largest hammock in the world. So this is a new category, which means we have a minimum requirement for someone to officially set it. So in this case, we need to have a replica of an existing hammock at least 10 times the size it needs to be. I can confirm that the largest hammock is 68 feet and four inches long by 30 feet, 10 inches wide. On behalf of Guinness World Records, it gives me great pleasure to confirm your record for the largest hammock. I've always been a big fan of the Guinness Book of World Records. To actually be here being part of a world record is kind of incredible and unique, and I don't think it's something you do every day. The hammock looks amazing. It's just this massive piece of relaxation. It's huge. It's incredible. It was a little bit surreal, you know, a little bit scary at first getting hauled up in this massive, massive hammock, and then I just kind of went, oh, I can get used to this. Well, we're here to celebrate the launch of Paradise Bay, and what better way than, you know, with this enormous hammock, it's the ultimate symbol of relaxation, just like our game. We really wanted to create, you know, a very strategic, immersive game, but we also wanted it to be really relaxing. You start off with a tropical island, and you get to, you know, build and mold that island as you see fit. You know, you get to trade with the locals, meet new people, and explore new places. It's my kind of game because I'm not big into, you know, shooting things. I prefer to build things and harvest. But it's nice to have something for myself again that I can enjoy and sort of wind down to in between takes on set. Right now I'm working on a Showtime show called Billions um, with, you know, a little actor named Damian Lewis. He's only won a couple Emmys. It's sort of a financial thriller, a cat and mouse game. You have the U.S. attorney chasing after a billionaire, white collar crimes, really strong female characters, which I really enjoy because it's what you look for in, in, in good writing is not just great women standing behind their good men, but standing beside them and being a, a, a power point as well. You know, when I'm on set, I get to decompress by grabbing my phone, getting on something like Paradise Bay, escaping to my own little island, you know, tuning out the world around me, even if it's just for five minutes. It's all those little things that make all the difference in kind of balancing your life.